I hope you can all hear this. You can hear me. My name is Laura, for those of you who don't know me. And I'm here today to talk to you about how I got here. I'll turn it down so it's, it's going to go off now. So, this presentation has a bit of a theme. And I can turn the goddamn thing off. Now, it's off. So, this, this presentation has a little bit of a theme. <laughs> it is a story of how I got here, how I became part of the Fedora community and the challenges that I kind of went through as, as a woman to get here. Not particularly challenging, but I hope you can relate to them and I'm happy to share my story for anybody who's interested. So when Marie asked me if I would like to give a talk, I did find myself wondering what to talk about. I really didn't know where to begin because like I said, my journey in through Fedora is not paved with Git commands or PRs merged. It's far more ordinary. Um, it was in its own way challenging for me and I couldn't decide how best to tell it to other women and non-binary folk that people might relate to it and find it mildly interesting. So I asked another strong woman who was my mother. And then after speaking to her, she reminded me of all the things that I needed to actually get over as a woman to be where I am today. And I may have found myself feeling like I could actually tell this story in a way that had a bit of meaning, certainly to me and I hope to you as well. She reminded me how lucky I was that I grew up with a woman role model like her that actually worked and had a career and was still an amazing mother and was able to do that without it being a sacrifice of either. And that's exactly where I want to actually be in my life too. So then I found myself remembering that I actually have another important job as well, that yeah, I work on the CPE team, I work in Fedora, but I am a mother and I do have a son and he's 12 and he might be the part of the first generation to grow up that they don't see gender lines as important to a career or as the amount of value that you bring to society. And I want to be part of that movement. I want to actually have that mean something. And I want him to grow up exactly how I did, seeing nothing wrong with a woman being a mother and having a career and still being an amazing parent and not being less because she chose either or. Because at the end of the day, I don't want it to ever be about gender. It's about people. So I asked myself, how did I get here? How did I end up in tech? And it did start with the opportunity in a tech company. And it was a job that was typically female. And through that, to that opportunity, I began my journey as a woman in a tech company. And that led into a woman in a technic, a male dominated technical environment. And I was able to learn about collaboration, values and technology itself. So I did not let the days go by and I didn't let the water hold me down. I took a chance and through when I eventually got into the, the technology company that I, I started in, I took a chance and went for a job that would bring me even closer to the open source communities and technology that I had heard about was, but was very green to. It was said to be by actually another woman in the same tech company that I'm from. You all know who that is. Um, that when she asked me and how did I get into the C into CP into the current role that I had I said well I looked at what I was doing currently and what they were looking for there was a lot of transferable skills there and she asked me a question and I am still I, I still always refer back to it that she found it really interesting and inspiring that I was able to just go for it that I was in a very female role and I wanted to progress into more technical areas and I sat down and I looked at what I was doing and I was able to make those connections to the skill sets that I had into what I where I wanted to be. And she said to me, do you think a man would have hesitated as long as you did to go for it? And I actually don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. But it did strike a chord with me. Maybe they wouldn't. But I got over the hesitation and I have never looked back since. And then I may have asked myself when I got into CP, what the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, that was a land. The team I joined, a service is not one but two community infrastructures. 
they are the most technically gifted people I have ever had the privilege of working with and I am crazy about every single one of them but I honestly had no clue what they were talking about and sometimes still don't um, but I do love learning from them and I love learning from the communities that they're part of the not doing computers line is just really not applicable anymore and being close to open source technologies so not just computers but like actually people who develop open source technologies who sit down on their spare time and they do it from a passion perspective um, it's really confusing but it is very inspiring and really really interesting but i also found myself feeling like i needed to be everywhere so like i said i um, i mentioned I mentioned earlier that I'm employed by a tech company, it's Red Hat, so they have expectations of communication. The team that I am on in Red Hat has two infrastructures that they maintain, two, set, two different communities. They need inf information. And then my own team itself, they, they require information. So that's about, uh, that's about four ethers by my count. And everybody wants the same information, but everybody receives it differently and they have different methods of communication. Like some people prefer IRC, some people prefer email, some people prefer Gchat. It is all across every aspect of tech and sometimes it's challenging and sometimes it's tiring, but I enjoy it. I like the context switching because it's continuous learning and I, I can feel myself getting more and more familiar and faster with it. And I'm figuring out that there's a certain tone people prefer to receive information from there's a certain level of information and depth that i should and should not go into how people even consume the e my emails like some people take them on a terminal so i had to learn that i have to click a button that has plain text mode that was new but i'm learning it and i'm iterating on it and i will always look for the best for everyone from it and i may have told myself this is not my beautiful house and by house, I mean office, because it wasn't. I went from an office administration role, very typical. You know how to run an office, to, and also a role that is typically female, to a technical project coordination role in an engineering team with a lot of men in it. And I also went from a standard office to a virtual one. You know, I went from running an entire building to you have to run the equivalent of an entire building's worth of work but from your desk on this computer and you have to reach a hell of a lot of people so it was it was a different kind of an office it's still a different kind of an office um but i do like it trying to explain to people who aren't familiar with irc that i host an um, office hours that is on a web service that's completely text-based to people who really don't understand it is uh, <laughs> I, get, I get a lot of funny looks so I had to adjust and I had to swap familiarity like I've always worked in in office based environments for this new virtual one but I like it because I'm, I'm continuously connecting with the Fedora community understanding the projects that we're looking to work on why they're important when I'm scoping them I know who to reach out to it's as big as it seems, it's still very inclusive. And I also told myself, this is not my beautiful wife. And by wife, I mean Sarah. Because it's also good to point out, or to, good to highlight that when I joined CP, I was the only girl until the Louise to my Thelma came along, which is Sarah Finn. And she has talk tomorrow. So shameless plug, you should attend that too. Um, Technically, I am still the only CPE female member, but I am very happy to have Sarah on board with me too. But it didn't give me pause for thought because when I came from GWS, which is the, uh, the administration role, I was on a team of 15 and there was two guys. So they were the minority because the environment was female heavy. I went from the opposite. I went back into a minority in a typically male dominated area and became the minority there. And I actually don't agree with either of them needing to be a minority. It shouldn't be. But it was interesting. But I am happy to see that times are a change and they are moving away from, you know, if a woman has to go to work 
they have to work in an office. So I let the days go by working on a great and funny team. Like I said, the, the guys are amazing. I love working with all of them. And I, I can't say enough about them. I don't think I'd have enough time to go through it all. And I went into the blue again, this time of Fedora, uh, where I also like being. So I, I'm starting to feel a connection to the community. I'm happy to be here. I hope that you're happy to have me here because I like being part of something bigger. People are passionate here. They're honest, they care. Sometimes it sounds like they're angry and they probably are angry, but I would rather see somebody be angry and honest than lie to be polite. It, it gains us nothing. And I want them to know that I care too. Even if I'm quiet sometimes, it's not because I don't care. Sometimes I don't understand because I'm not that technical, but I want to be here and I hope that you will take the time to explain things to me when, we, when I need to. Because I want to be in this environment for, for the foreseeable. And you could say it's same as it ever was from a year on from joining the CPE that I've gone similar back to where, where I was, but it's not, it's different. Um, life is definitely not the same as it ever was. It's like I said, full of conversation about technology learning open source communities, how they operate, how they grow, discovering that even more people, oh, sorry, and discovering that it's even more important to appreciate people for who they are and not what they are. Being a woman Fedora is important to me, but being seeing as a person in Fedora is even more important. So this is bringing me to the end of my song, <laughs> because you may ask yourself, how did I get here? How does this work? Where is that large automobile that I've sold my soul for to buy? Where does that highway go to? Am I right? Am I wrong? And there was times where I thought, oh God, what have I done? <laughs> but I asked myself all those things and I do still ask myself all those things. It can be hard to break down barriers. Society, it can be hard to break down barriers that society has created in our mind. It took me a while to just go for this job. So, because I felt like maybe, maybe I wouldn't stand a chance that maybe somebody would be a little bit more qualified than me. Like, why did I even think that? But they could have been, <laughs> I'm glad they weren't. But I mean, screw it, I should have just sold myself for it. So when I went for this job, it represented opportunity for me. It was, where does this highway go to? And it was a means to getting that large automobile. I wanted to inspire my son who's sitting here behind me kicking the door that I, he's lucky I don't launch myself over at him. <laughs> but I did ask him to be here. I asked him to sit in on this because he's my lucky charm. And like I said a couple of slides back, like I find it important for him to understand that I am his mother, I am a woman, but I am also here making a career and I'm happy to have both. <laughs> so ask yourself what have I done just do it you won't look back it's exciting you it doesn't matter if you're male or female you should just go for it if you're worth it it shouldn't matter and I do still struggle with understanding the devil list it's a scary place I won't lie um, but it's also exciting and from even being in these last five months in CPE and in Fedora, like I can run Git commands. I know them. I understand the the backstory of the technology that I'm using. I have learned about message buses and all of these fun things. I've learned about Pagger and repos and pull requests. And that's pretty cool. I'm still learning. But also what I didn't even realize I was was there or I needed, I found myself immersed in Fedora's culture and that I wanted to be here and that I have an identity here and I really enjoy it. And I do always hope I remain part of this community. And remember that once in a lifetime, opportunities do come along and they might be once in a lifetime and your gen gender shouldn't be the reason to let the water hold you down on it.
And that's it, folks. That is my story. I hope it made some sense. I hope some people could relate to it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Hi, Eva. Hey, Marie. That was awesome. So Eva has like this presenting style that just always includes like moving things and music and flash. And children. So, <laughs> <laughs> apparently children. Um, so I always appreciate um, your, your presentations. Um, so I guess they have a question for you. Like, what did you go to school for if you went to school at all? I mean, like university. Oh God. Okay. So, um, right. I, I actually had my son very young, so I actually never went to university. My priority was always to find a job that provided for my family. Um, yep. I, I was actually completely ruled by choosing an employment that was close to school runs because I was a single parent, so I needed to be there and do that. Um, but there was always a part of me that like, hated those boundaries you know it, i disagree i fundamentally disagree with the woman having to do that yeah. um but i had to do it i mean there was nobody else i had to right. so there's still I'm, a child of a human that you care for to take care yeah. of yeah right. exactly um so i didn't actually go to university i worked from a very very young age um i had charlie when I was around 19 years old, but I had been working before that since I was about 16. Um, I did some part-time courses. Uh, I did some project management courses. I did, oh, I can't even remember. I, I did a lot of on the job training, like a lot of my experience yeah. in real life. And I don't know, I think you can go to as many lectures as you want, but you're not going to learn real life yeah. stuff in the classroom. It's good Honestly. to know. Honestly, I think that's a really cool story, an important story to tell. <laughs> like, you don't have to go to a university and you can um, still great, get a great job in the technical field, uh, you yeah. know, in the software field. You don't actually have to go to school for that necessarily. It's building up, like, other talents and finding where that's applicable. Yeah. So what's your official title at Red Hat? No, it actually... So it, uh, <laughs> it kind of changes. Um, so my, if you're if you're in Red Hat and you look me up, you'll see that I'm associate project manager. My emails have me as a product owner. Uh, Pingu did a typo and called me a project owner, and I actually said that is what I identify with. That makes sense to me. We don't really have a product per se in C with CPE. Like I mean, we don't like we don't. We don't produce a, a, a thing, um, but we do have a lot of projects and we do deal with that work and they kind of flow through me. So, well, I try and help organize them. Jesus, I mean, the guys do, the guys do the actual real work. I just say, okay, that'd be great. We said we'd do this in 12 weeks. Where oh my we? gosh, Please <laughs> do not even talk about real work. Like I know <laughs> what you're doing as a program manager. I think my title is I might be a similar associate program manager or something of a similar, I don't know, they do skill trees or something yeah. like that. But yeah. um, there's so much work to do that I feel like other, other like it was with project management and program management that, you know, it's a certain personality type. And that was what I was thinking when you were talking about how you went from running an office yeah. to this technical field where you didn't necessarily have all the technical, all of the, I don't want to say technical, coding nope. background, but engineering right. background. Yeah. Right, right. And you, you went from the office there. And the, I think that the piece is, is that your personality, you know, you've, you were showing that off, I'm sure, in the office. Were you working at Red Hat previously, right? Yeah, yeah, I was. So um, you had to build some connections yeah. there. Um, so I guess that another part is just like, don't be afraid to be yourself. Yeah, and look, ironically, it was it was a man in the office said you would actually be really good at that job. I was like, yeah, but I don't know any like, I don't know anything about rel. Well, firstly, you use rel, but still, I mean, if you can run an office, you can run a project. <laughs> it's the same principles. Skill sets are transferable. Yeah, so, definitely. 
So does yeah. anyone else have questions? I didn't see anything else in the chat, but I do see Aoife, you're an inspiration. Aoife's title, <laughs> Aoife's title is she's Aoife at CPE. <laughs> yeah, I like that one this year. <laughs> <laughs> People are getting emotion. Um, so yeah, so something that we're we're doing at Fedora Women's Day this year is we're gonna try to put together uh, a cool video afterwards. Okay. So we have this little script, and if you're comfortable reading it, we would love for you to read it. So I think if Nick is able to, he'll he'll copy it in the chat in the chat here in a minute. Um, the first part, you're gonna speak in your native language, in Irish. Yeah. Or or the swearing. <laughs> like... the swearing. <laughs> no, Irish. <laughs> Irish. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then the second part, um, we would like you to speak in English. Okay. So, so for example, you'll see the example is mine. Hi, my name is Marie. I am from the U.S. I am a woman and I speak English. Okay. And then the second part, we are from different, that part you would say in English. So the first part in Irish, yep. the second part in English. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. Oh, sweet Jesus, you mean now? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> we got, we'll, we'll work through this. We can do a couple takes, you know. You might have to Google it. Uh, Jesus Christ, if I English, think I might have to Google if my... If English is your name, <laughs> like, <laughs> if you're more comfortable in English, I would not stop you. No, no, hang on. I might actually ask Charlie because he's, he's quite... Is okay. I have a I have a some semi ignorant question. Is Gaelic and Irish that's the same? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. I'm just I'm trying. No, it's obviously like. Diagwith Constantok is Misha Ethan Neil Downig and the text is now gone. I can't remember how to say I'm from, and I speak. I am a failure to my nation. Give me one second. <laughs> oh. There's a, yeah, there's a Google translation in the chat, but it's... I'm literally Googling it now. <laughs> but what, what's what's painful, though, is it'll start giving me, like, different dialects, because, like, it's bad enough now that Irish is complicated, but we have dialects. Right. <laughs> and I speak... Oh, Sarah has one, maybe. Sarah, seriously, if you can give me a little dig out here. <laughs> Check the chat real quick. I'm so Keep sorry, going. lads. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I speak in Irish. Okay, okay. Right. All right, so I'm copying it again for you. So it's okay. right there, fresh. All right, go ahead. Diagwitz is Smisha Ethany Vail Downig. Tom Imachoni a Port Larga in Ireland. August uh Lavrium Not really English. <laughs> I should be muted right now. Can we do it one more time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh. That, uh, that's not even the monster dialect. Anyway, okay. Uh Diagwith is Misha Eve when you veil down Tommy McConey a Fort Larga, August uh, Lavrium. English. So we are from different countries. Uh, we speak different languages and we are of different cultures, but Fedora unites us with open source. Ooh, right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess English is just something you're like, you're just super familiar and like everyone's kind of speaking English around you. Yeah, um, we in Ireland. Yeah, in Ireland, you go, you study Irish for twelve plus years. There is dedicated Gaelic schools, and the majority of the population go, "Ah, forget about it." While you're in, while you're in school, and then you then you leave school and you go into like jobs that have people from all around the world, and it you bring shame to your culture and your heritage. Go, <laughs> I can't remember a word. I can't remember any kupla fuckum. <laughs> and that's not a swear. That's not a swear word. Fuckle is, is <laughs> fuckle is Irish for word. <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> that 
That's hilarious. That's like perfect for this scenario yeah. right here. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for, for coming to present and um, speaking with me and letting me ask you a bunch of questions. Oh, that, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm really, thank you so much. I'm more than privileged to be a part of this event. It's, it's really cool. It's my first time actually speaking at a, at an event standalone, so I couldn't think of oh, that yeah. event. To, yeah, like usually it's been like with with somebody. The group <laughs> so of people. Is, yeah, so this is my first one, and like I, I actually couldn't think of a better a better venue than Women in Fedora to do that. So thank awesome. You for Thanks again. I'm gonna pop out, and I will see everybody at 3 p.m. for the last session of the day, or whatever you. time zone you're in. <laughs> Bye. Thank you all. I know we're on this thing. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> but thanks everyone for. I really appreciate you joining. And um, if you do have any questions, um, I will drop in my email. If you don't know it already, if you might. And you can always reach out to me. Uh, Twitter is Maloney Four. And IRC is a Maloney one, and I have no idea why I have so many numbers attached to the end. But yeah. Um, so I'm going to drop, but thank you for having me. Thank you for attending. I hope I made a little bit of sense and I didn't bore you to tears. And I will see you around the conference.